Hi everyone, today I want to talk about how you have been programmed to be poor. If this is your first time here, my name is Unwana Udo. Every week I share great content on how to improve your personal finance and grow your wealth. Before we continue, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so YouTube will notify you of new videos. Let's begin. Did you know the first seven years of a child's life are the most important? During the first seven years, we are programmed by all the experiences passed down from our parents. Whatever your parents expose you to during this period programs you for the rest of your life. If you are raised by wealthy parents, most likely, you will be wealthy. The most powerful element here is your subconscious mind and what inputs it receives. If you were raised by poor parents, most likely you will be programmed with things such as, we can't afford it, I will always be in debt, money is the root of all evils, just to mention a few. You have the power to change this if you so choose by surrounding yourself with positive things and thoughts. It's also helpful if you read self-improvement books, watch motivational videos, and surround yourself with positive-minded people. What this does is that it imparts new information into your subconscious mind through images and associations. We have to reprogram our brains to think differently in order to achieve any levels of personal financial success. The vast majority of society has been programmed differently with language such as i.e. I always be indebted, we can't afford this, life is too hard, money does not grow on trees, etc. In a previous video, I discussed how our school system teaches us to be poor, make sure to check my channel for this video. The school system will never teach you about money but teaches you to be an employee, never about money. Our school system trains us to get a job and be loyal servants of the government. Did you know that poverty is passed on from generation to generation? That is why if you were raised in a poor family or middle class family, odds are that you will end up poor or middle class. As of the making of this video, we are going through a global health pandemic that has decimated economies all over the world. I just read that in the first and second quarters of 2020, over 100,000 restaurants have permanently closed down. These are families with individuals who have lost everything. We also have people who are struggling financially or worried about money or unhappy they may be making a lot of money but unhappy with what they are doing. If you are poor, you will always be poor unless you change your mindset. This is very hard for regular folks to comprehend. Have you heard of people who won millions of dollars from lotteries? Only to be broke after five years. How about professional athletes who make millions of dollars during their careers, only to be broke a few years after retiring? The main reason for this is because of the poor mindsets based on programs in their subconscious minds. They have a poor mindset regardless of how many millions they make. Going back to the example of an employee, once an individual gets their first paycheck, the game is over because they lose their creativity and entrepreneurial drive. If you have found value so far, hit the like button, all I ask is that you share this video with your friends and family and help spread the message. Another misconception we hear is that the rich are greedy, stingy, and evil. Nothing could be further from the truth, the rich are not greedy or stingy but rather provide great value to the marketplace and in turn, are highly compensated. If you want to be wealthy, then you must provide value by solving problems in society. Hoping, wishing, and playing the lottery will never make you wealthy, you must create value in society. We are taught that failure is bad and people are afraid to take risks for fear of failure. What most people lack is business knowledge such as, how to use credit to create wealth, accounting, taxes, cash flow, assets, liabilities, net worth, etc. You must change your programming if you ever want to win in life. Life is full of abundance but it is up to you if you want it bad enough. Hope you found value in this video. If you did, please help grow this channel with me by sharing this video and others. Also, please leave a comment down below, say that I subscribed, and I will try my best to reply to your comment. Thank you in advance for your support. If you need more resources on credit, wealth creation, and success principles, check the description below for links to my ebooks. These ebooks are currently available on Amazon and I know you will find value in them, so make sure to check down in the description for the links. The next video coming up has important information I know you will love. Click and watch that video now and I will see you there.